I'll do a basic explanation, but if you don't know what the fuck's going on, that's okay. Because for most of the game, that's what most of us have been operating on. Uh, the gist is that uh, you are part of an elite group of people, the council, uh, that meet in an Illuminati Templar style way to discuss how the world is going. Um, to like talk about alliances, to try and make sure that there is no war, yada yada yada. Except that we are the... We're there, we're called Louis. Our mother went to the island, so it's all set on this island. Went to the island to join in with the thing, the party, the meeting, and disappeared. So then you were summoned, turn up, you've got to try and find your mum, but in doing so, you've discovered an elaborate scheme in which your mum not only lost her hand trying to get into this crazy-ass vault, but also that there are demons on this earth, and any, any, anyone, anyone in the group could be possessed in a crypt she'd found this like crazy ass puzzle and we had to try and put our hand in it to get something that's where mumsy lost her arm um so because she fucked up the puzzle so the game literally ended with potentially us either losing our arm uh or getting the puzzle right i didn't know so we may go straight into our arm being lost again i just don't know Every time I went to play it, I kept thinking about that. And then I was like, we may as well wait for episode four and five to come out once. Because then we can blast through the whole thing. We haven't got to wait for... Um, we haven't got to wait for anything at all. Alpha Foxtrot, thank you very much for 19 months. And I'm glad you're enjoying Advent. Thank you. Right. I only can equip... I, have th I can equip three manuscripts. They give me extra points and things like questioning and occultism and logic and loads of things um but we can only equip two because i'm missing this is annoying because it's like i'm missing one note although perhaps that will be in episode four which is where we're going now and then i could equip that which gives me three skill points that annoys me as well one out of five i feel like that's not recoverable one out of five but three out of four is i don't know that would be nice whatever uh okay so that's that done episode four i sense that mr peru is about to surprise us too i believed in him i followed him to the best of my ability i championed his ideas defended his decisions and then without even realizing it i became lost oh yeah now that i've told you everything you want to take my place do you no I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. Someone Twi had the back coming Basil. from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Louis, you really must learn to conceal your weaknesses better. If you don't want your foes to use them against you. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all. Mm -hmm. and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. It is the natural order of things, Monsieur de Richet. There have always been men who govern other men. That is simply the way it is. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. That's no fun. one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. So hang on a minute. Why are you lot here? You weren't all here before. It was just us and Mumsy before. Also twins, Basil, twins. Oh, uh, swine. oh shit. I'm going to open this damn door and skin you alive. You're not going to get the better of us. Hello, Mum? Mother. Mother. You've come around. How do you feel? Have I got my arm still, Mum? Uh, oh no. It hurts. Mother? I, I, I can't feel my arm. Louis, I had to cauterize it with what I could find. Shit. Where's my arm? We'll Shit. get through this, Louis. Don't worry. I think I found a solution. Where's we'll my arm? We gotta leave. No, don't, don't put your arm in there. Louis, we can't leave without it. It's our last chance. Don't lose your other I arm, mother. This through to the Fuck. end. I must do it. No. No. 
So it is confirmed, We've by the way. Done it, Louis. Oh. Look. Stubborn as a mule. You don't. Come on. I don't have get. to lose your arm. I'll help you. Easy does it. You've lost a lot of blood. <sighs> and now what? Let's take what we came for. Okay. Uh, I'm slightly salty that you managed to open it, but quite frankly, I can't even remember the puzzle. I just remember it being really, really awkward. It was something about like crucifixions and 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 not uh, like I don't know death shit. One sec, let me just tab slightly. There we go. So, briefly, harmless nightshade. Thank you for the eighteen months in a row, and also Midman. Thank you for the three months. Um, he does look a bit like Ichabod Crane from The Wolf Among Us, but he also looks a bit like... Well, Ichabod Crane is a, is a tropey kind of character in that he's quite a tall, thin, sleepy, hollowy kind of a guy. In fact, actually, Ichabod Crane in Sleepy Hollow looks like this as well. Um, yeah, it was it was dials and dates and places and shit and phases of the moon and all of that, and it just got a bit, it just got a bit confusing. Um, I want to know how you opened it, though, because for fuck's sake... Wait... I've got to know what I did wrong. That is one fearsome mechanism. In fact, if I hadn't watched you beforehand, I would never have found the right combination. Oh. Tell me, where did I go wrong? Okay. All right. I mean, I fuck me. I can't even remember what I did. But, goddamn. Also, my shoes. Thank you for this. The, I always said 16. It's 19 months. Thank you. I'm hyped for the cooking stream too. It's gonna be good. Um, I guess the nails? The three nails? Yes, it, it's true. They let you open the iris. Yes, but you still need to find the right theme, don't you? The fresco was a trap. I did get that Apart bit. from the fresco, everything pointed to the crucifixion. The things that make it possible to activate the mechanism are associated with the crucifixion. Ah. The cross to activate the mechanism and the nails to choose a date. I think I know where I fucked up. I think I... So she says that the fresco was a, a, a ploy. I think I got too into the fresco. I think I was like, oh, the fresco is the true thing. And and the, the other thing is not. And actually it sounds like that's wrong. Uh, and the end? Well, how did you manage to crack the puzzle? Then I had to link the crown of thorns to the date of the crucifixion, according to the exegesis. Brilliant. But I failed to understand the first time. With that theme in mind, I chose 26M, which represents the 26th of the yeah, March. Yeah, I think I did to that conclude, too. To conclude, I had to use the armillary sphere to find the moon corresponding to the day of the crucifixion, which turned out to be in the first quarter. All that was left to do was to link all those elements on the same axis. Oh, that's it. That's all she had to do. I've not got a fucking clue what you just said. You lost me after the 26th of March, which I think is where I got stuck. Also, we haven't discussed the fact that there was clearly a fight in the time between my arm being cut off and her waking us up. That's what that, like, nose bleeding stuff is. It sounds like there was a scuffle. Ooh. Crypt. That's not a crypt. It's not a mine at a dome. Um, that is, that is a big ass crypt. But where are we? I don't know, but we better not hang around. Uh, oh, hello. So I have a plus one thing. I think that's like a punishment. I'm disconcerted. I can't remember why. It might be something to do with the fact that my arm got chopped off. Uh, but I would say we need to keep our keep our guard up. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with the council, um, the one to three is on YouTube. Um, but the gist is I've chosen skill points, which is partially where the books came in at the very start of the episode. Um, so for example, my logic level two reduces the cost by three. So I could say these... Or I could go, well, actually, we should keep our guard up using the skill points that I have. So that would imply that we've spotted a reason to be careful. Which is fair. We're in a giant fucking dark crypt thing. Be careful, mother. As if me saying that will make any difference. Knowing Mortimer, 
I wouldn't be surprised if he rigged his crypt with traps. So Brilliant. you think the door is not enough? Do you want to wager your other hand? You've got a point there. We have to find that weapon. Oh, yeah, there's what a weapon. What do you know about the Holy Lance, Louis? The what? The Lance of Longinus the Centurion. Oh, oh, you mean Leonidas' spear? Ha! <laughs> yes, the centurion that pierced the sight of Christ with his lance. That weapon naturally became a holy relic. Exactly. Seriously? You don't really believe that fable, do you? Every fable is founded on true events. I'm not saying that everything adds up, but imagine if it really did exist. Very well. Now what? Well, now you know what you need to find. Pardon? I have to get to the wharf to prepare our departure. Let's get off this cursed island as quickly as we can. We shall come back when we are ready and armed. But hang on. Oh, Louis, Christ. let's first get to All safety. Right. We shall come back when we have the upper hand. Fear not. You take care of getting the lance. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. My eyes are over hang here, on. mother. A at least tell me everything you know about this lance. But I have never seen it. There's nothing else I can say, Louis. Well, you can always go snooping around Mortimer's study. I remember seeing paintings of Longinus there. Okay, uh, why did you shoot Emma? Hang on a second. What's the matter? Why did you shoot Emily's sister? Do you really think now is the right time for this? I, just for God's sake, woman, just get on with it. I want to know, mother. Why did you betray her? Listen, Louis. I don't think you've really understood my interest in the al -Azif. The Necronomicon. It's not just simple curiosity about some old relic. You tried to kill her. And I had no choice for crying out loud. It must not fall into the hands of the demons, or we are all doomed. Don't you see? Yes, ma'am. Listen, I don't know exactly what it contains, but I prefer to be one step ahead. If they want it, there must be a reason. And even if I don't know what it is... I want to stop them for safety's sake, no matter what. Nothing okay. will stop you if I understand correctly. Not Enough, even... Louis. If you could see the extent of their power as I do, then you would understand what I'm saying. All right, we'll do it your way. One more thing. If they find you in possession of the lance, they won't let you get away with it. Choose only one and hide it under your jacket so you don't get caught with it. What? Then run and meet me on the wharf. What? And if I get caught? If they catch you in possession of the lance, we're all doomed. Do you understand? Perfectly. Good. And go talk to Piaget. He's the one who probably knows the most about this. But he might be a demon. You told me ages ago we didn't know who any of the demons were. You might be a fucking demon. I don't know. Also, these are the notes currently. Brilliant. Brilliant. I must find the Holy Lance. Alright, okay. Um, is that a tomb? It's not a mine, it's a tomb. Let's go have a look. So, there's loads of things we could potentially explore. Uh, it's a bit dark in here. So, if you're watching this with the lights on, um, maybe think again. This sarcophagus is engraved with the name of Clemens III. No, Good it's not. God. It says Clement. The one whose cross allowed me to enter. It says Clement, not Clemens. Uh, I know that name. Translate. Inspect. Uh, that one costs me zero, actually. So let's go with that. That was the Pope from the Middle Ages who inspired the Third Crusade. He gave the Roman people the power to elect their magistrates. I feel like I might need a notebook for this. I don't, actually, to be fair, I don't know if... Pope Clemens the third actually matters. Um, hang on, let's get let's get nuts. Oh jeez. So basically. Also, thank you, Bass Tech, for a year. Also, welcome. You have gotten here just in time. We are flailing our way through the start of this. Um, so the gist is with the council, you don't know what's relevant. So you've got to write down everything. So that's why I'm trying to find somewhere where I can write. Oh shit, hang on. We're gonna have to go forward to the next month. Or I could find a better notebook. But we do not have one on the desk. So we're just gonna deal with it like this. Um, yeah, so I could choose to waste a load of skill points on this. Um, but 
I don't know at this point if it's worth it because you only have a certain amount of skill points. Those are the things in the bottom left. And we have the disconcerted thing which makes us spend one more every time. Um, so... I don't really know what there is to translate. Because there's just a name. What are we going to translate? Um, tomb, cross on entry. He might be important because of the cross, but we'll come back. This sarcophagus is beautifully made, but ancient. Stone is marked by the passage of time, but it's really well preserved. Yes. Um, oh. Uh, we'll come back to you. We'll come back to you. Me no, me no know what to do with you yet. Uh, so I came from over there. So we're going down. Oh, we're going down here. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, no. Hang on. Oh, shit. It might involve picking the right sarcophagus. This one has no name. Oh. I wonder who it was for. Oh. Okay. Um, is that the... Hello? Oh, we can't go that way. Well, that's that. <laughs> Just stepping into the void. Oh, oh, pff, buddy. The controls are a bit funky in places. Mainly because he goes, what? Who? Where? What is this? Oh, no, it's just the dead... Oh, oh! It's not a dead end. What is this? It's a spearhead. I can see that this spear has a, a so-called leaf shape. It is copper rimmed. I can see the tip is engraved with the symbol of the eye of Ra. Okay. Alright. I think we might need to leave and come back. He does say, she did say, question the, uh, the cardinal. So, let's go, I guess we better go find him. This is the biggest challenge in this damn game, is running around finding people. Because they move. In fact, there's a couple of sarcophagi everywhere. There's like one down here as well. I'm just going to pop and see this. And then I think if we leave, you can fast travel. Also, look at... Hang on a minute. Look at all these fucking random... Look, look! They're on like little bits. How on earth am I going to get to them? If indeed I can. Also, I've only found one spear so far. She said take one. Currently. Oh, look. Currently, there's not much choice. Ah, uh -huh. I got some devil's thorn. Oh, shit. I can actually go down here. Oh, my God. This is a big-ass area. There's a fucking temple here. And a stargate. It's not a stargate. It's just a thing. Is this the, um... Flavius Aetius. Flavius. I was once taught something about this man. Flavius. I'm just writing the names. I can't spell Flavius. Could start. Flavius Aetius. Alright. I remember. He was the Roman general who defeated Attila and his hordes in the terrible battle of the Catalonian plains. Flavius Aetius, the one they call the last of the Romans. He was assassinated by his own emperor, who was mm. jealous of all his victories. But how did he end up here? Well, maybe he had the spear. I must find it. <laughs> All right, look, turning round seems to be a chat. Come on, come on, you little fuck. There, oh, there we go. Movement is a challenge for him. I mean, now he's lost an arm. He's even worse. Is that a fucking cross up there? It is. We're going up there in a sec. I just want to make sure I've made a note of all the possible. Ooh. Thank you. Oh, hello. Well, we can see possible. that this lance has a particular spear shape. Yeah. It is fish! In gold. Fish! You can distinguish the symbol of the fish engraved on the tip. Barely noticeable. Gold. What else? Well, we can see that this lance has a particular spear shape. Spear shape. It is coated in gold. You can distinguish the symbol of the fish engraved on the tip. Barely noticeable. Okay, the other one was Eye of Ra, wasn't it? And it was a leaf shape. It's so, alright, at some point we're going to have to get the art out and have a frickin' look. So, currently, I've found two spears. There could, there, there, there probably are more. The 
sarcophagus has been ravaged by time. It's sort of ageless, I guess. It's entirely sculpted. Oh, hello. Um... Is that Egyptian? No, I don't know what that is. But that is Greek. And that says Saffron, maybe? Saffron. <laughs> these symbols, Oops. these grooves, cuneiform script. This is humanity's oldest alphabet, the language of Babel. <laughs> Sadly, no one today even knows how to decipher it. Oh. There's also some text engraved beneath in ancient Greek. Yes. Sargon. Sargon. I was close. I was fucking close there, wasn't I? I said saffron. I struggled with the, the middle bit. Um, yeah, I try to understand. I feel like this one, if it was going to be any of them, I should at least work out what it's saying. Is this the tomb of a king? <laughs> Judging by all the sculpted symbols of power, this is really ancient. The... The inscriptions are all eroded. I don't know what those marks mean, but maybe a stone or an epitaph. A stone? That's not, it's a prayer. That's what the subtitle said. I saw that. I saw that motherfucker. Okay, so that's fine. So we don't really know yet with him. There is one more bit we can go down before we leave. It's down here. And I think that's another spear. Yes, it is. Right, what's wrong with this one? Uh, examine. We can see that this lance has a leaf shape. Yes. And, well, it's in gold. gold. I can see that a crucifix is engraved on the tip, just barely visible. Crucifix, gold, leaf shape. It's probably going to come down to the symbol. Entirely the symbol. But they said only take one, so I've got to get that right. And that's why I'm like, let's go around now so we have our options. Oh, can't even go in that tomb. Uh, so we have our options for when PR, dude, for when PRG has uh, has a little information blast at us. Oh, another one, another one. Okay. Let's take a look at this lance here. Fucking hell. It has a very special leaf shape. It is copper rimmed, and I can see a fish symbol engraved on the tip. Fish, copper. Leaf shape. There's a lot of leaf shapes here. I mean, if it's spear shape and not leaf shape, then it's the first one we found. No, the second one we found. That's fine. That's fine. Uh. Nope. No, no, no. I mean, I think since chopping his arm off, he's gotten more, like, clunky with his movements. Which is a slight bother. Oh, good God. Really? There's, like, three here alone. Shit. All right. Oh, hello. I can see that this lance has the shape of a boar sphere. The blade sphere. is partially coated in copper, and I can just make out the symbol of the eye of Ra engraved on the tip. Eye of Ra, copper boar spear. Brilliant. Leave. Is it this one with all the candles around it? That would be subtle. Uh, examine. I can see a fish on I it can already. I see this lance has. A spear shape. Yes. It's copper rimmed, and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. Fish, copper. <sighs> this is going to be hard, isn't it? Unless, you know, Piaget just goes, oh, yeah, it's this one. Examine. Oh, it's got blood on it. This lance has a leaf shape. It is copper rimmed. The symbol of the Christian fish is engraved on the tip. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, what a choice we've got here. We have currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spears. Can you imagine if we just grabbed one of them? Oh, hello. What's this when it's at home? Why is this one behind a gate? I'm just trying to see if there's any shit at the back. The sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. No! Get the gun! So, Mortimer, we've established, just basically doesn't die. His He somehow has carried on an entire lineage across many years. 
uh, that is just him. Let's see what we can find here. Try to open it. Ah! Uh, it's far too heavy. I'm not going to be able to do it on my own. Okay. Especially if you push it with a stubby arm. I mean, I don't know what's in there. Oh, um. The sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. But that's open. <laughs> it's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear the Mortimer family name. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. But that's the point. There are no... It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt oh. which appears to bear the Mortimer family name. Hang on. What ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. Let's see what we can find here. Can I even do it? No. It's the only sarcophagus oh, in this crypt shit. which appears to bear the Mortimer family name. Can't do it. What Come ancestor on. can it be? There's no inscription. Bish! All right. I'm just going to use this honey as well. Just restore some points. We have, uh, we have curing negative. Oh, shit. I should probably have used that. There we go. Oops. <laughs> so that's gotten rid of the plus one. Probably should use that at the start. But thought it was like a, a, a scripted thing. Not a, I can get rid of this thing. Uh, what's three? Displays immunities and vulnerabilities. Brilliant. Okay. So, plan of action is pop back to see the Pope. So the Cardinal, not the Pope. Ask him about the Holy Lance. I mean, if he's a demon, which Mumsy doesn't think he is, um, then this is a terrible idea. Basically, we're now you're now we're now in a situation where we don't know who is bad and who is good, or who is a demon and who isn't. Let's put it that way. Um, so we have no way of knowing who like anyone we talk to, whether they're oh shit, there we go, Pff, we're out. Whether yeah, whether um, people are good or bad, basically. We just don't know. It's like they could be lying to us. They could be... And the awkward thing as well is that the secret society bit everyone knows about because they're all part of the secret society. So it's just this weird, like... It's just this weird going around in circles of going like, Are you? I don't know. Right. So we're up here. I wonder if anyone notices my fucking arm. <laughs> Go round. Uh, not here. No, no. Got to get out of the maze and find Piaget. I wonder if he'll be in his rooms. Oh, not this way. Shit. Oh shit. Uh, I have lost myself. Uh, maybe this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Down here somewhere. Oh my god. Fucking nighttime mazes. Who would do this? Right. Back inside. I look forward to like running into Napoleon or something in a minute. Oh. Hello. Anyone around? No. Nobody is here. Uh okay, hang on. Oh shit. Oh. I'm just stuck a little thing on it. He likes his art. Um, he's a big collector of art. In fact, he's such a big collector of art. He has art that's not even painted. That's the time. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're in the secret room. Got it. Oh, actually. Thank you. I can now actually pick that up because you're only allowed four of each item. So for some things, I've just been full. Oh, there's the library. This is not where we needed to be. That's fine. I, th I feel like what could have helped in this game a little bit is a fast travel option. It doesn't have to be there all the time. It's just for these bits where you're going, right, I need to find Piaget. Where is Piaget? It's kind of good because it means that you bumble into places you wouldn't necessarily go to. Um, but... You do spend an awful lot of time looking for things. Hang on a minute. Is this... Is that Mortimer's? I think this is... This is a way up. I can't remember if this is Mortimer's study, which Mum wanted us to go to anyway, or just the way up to normal stuff. 
Ah, it's the way up to the bedrooms. Okay. So, somewhere along here, there is a Piaget. There's also a servant there. Uh, who's this? Monsieur von Volner. Oh shit, that's that's the dude who really wants. So the Necronomicon um, is known as the, the, the Arab sounding name book in this. That's another name for it. So that's, he's after it or he has it and we're trying to get it. I can't remember, but he's probably bad. I got a bad vibe off of Volner since the start. Um, also Brit Kid Kenny, thank you for the five months in a row. We're going into this room. Seems like he isn't here. Oh good. That's kind of handy. I was going to rob him. Um, also, I didn't really need to come in here in the first place. Um, hello. Oh, that's the picture. It's a lovely picture. In fact, that's a very appropriate picture for this room, for this dude, considering he's obsessed. Look, a blotter. And apparently it's been used recently. I wonder what Volner was going to write. It's smudged. It's not all legible. It's the book I of the dead, yeah. The signature, though, and leave as as if as as if planned. Le Lance. Oh my god! Yes, yes, yes. Hang on. Uh, uh, this no. Oh shit! Next skill use is free. That's what I wanted. I can't use all of that. I'm gonna pick up the paper. Oh fucking hell! That's annoying. I just have to take it. So yeah, the Necronomicon, the Book of the Dead, the al if it's all the same thing. What a mess. Looks like Volner was interrupted. It, yeah, just a bit. Looks a lot like straw. And he's drawn something in a hurry on this sheet. Yeah, look closely. Um, yes. Straw on his desk. As if to, as if to protect something fragile. Yes. Someone must have packed something away here. Like the book? Or perhaps the spear has gone? Or so fucking Ouroboros snaky shit going on over there? I get the feeling that I've seen that somewhere before. Die! Yes. I recognize those symbols. I've seen occult inscriptions like this before. They're, they're not very common. As a matter of fact, I've only seen them once before, around the Lock of al -Azif. Right. Well, that's not helped us, has it? Unless we, you know, need to get into the book later. So this is the problem, is the game can quite happily let you... I really wanted to code it, but we can't. We can't afford to do it. Um, it would be silly to use all my points. But yeah, so you just don't know whether... Oh, look. Uh, you don't know whether... You're spending all your points investigating something that actually won't pay off. A table of alchemical symbols. So you have to be really, really careful. Someone circled the zinc symbol. Zinc, 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 zinc. Hang on a minute. Zinc. I don't think it matters. But as I said, you end up going down these weird tangents going like, What about this? What about this? What about this? Is it you? Did you kill her? What's the box? Nope, 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 nope. It might not be anything. I've like already uh, checked see. a lot of stuff. My simple toiletry case. Never mind. Never mind. I think I'd already stolen everything I could out of it. I've already stolen out of that box for sure. Uh, a chemistry set. A chemistry That's not set. surprising coming from Von Wolner. Yay! <laughs> I'm just stealing his shit! Thanks, buddy. I should find something to help reveal the traces of ink on the blotter. Oh, no. Oh, no. Which does it? Is it lime water? We had a fucking thing for this before. Thank you, almighty duck, for 30 months in a row! That's ridiculous. Also, don't worry about it, dude. That's what VODs are for, eh? If you can't tune in, when you can tune in, you're very welcome. If you can't tune in, that's totally cool. Um... Oh, fuck, though. This is a pain. I don't want to use three points up to go, oh, it's this. And I did this before and I screwed it up with something else. I ruined it. I want to say it's lime water. But... I, I, 
actually that's one point. I could use one point. Shock it. Think, Louis. Come on, Louis. I know for sure that lime water neutralizes chemical actions, but it doesn't work on ink. I must find something else. Okay. So it's between these two. Ammonium sulfide. Which is an acid, isn't it? No, sulfide. Ide. What is an ide? Oh, God. <laughs> Chemistry A level has left me. Um, oh, shit. Tannic acid of alum. Oh, or it's a salt. Yes, that's true. It is a salt. Um, oh, fuck. Acid. Surely acid's going to eat into the paper. Whereas salt might interact. Fuck it. Let's just... Oh, God. That sounds vaguely familiar. I can always give it a shot. Here we go! Yes, it worked. Yay! Now I can see it. Sir Gregory, I'll leave al at the landing stage at the appropriate time. Yours truly, Johann von Boner. This okay. is child's play. This is child's... Fuck off. It's not child's play, you little shit. <laughs> We're not even supposed to be in it. This is the this is the thing I really like about the council is the leveling up system, the fact you really can fuck it, um, and then also you can just wander around random people's rooms and find stuff. We didn't have to come in here. So let's see what Volner has in his bookcase. Let's bet the books. Because also this yeah this may not help us at all, or this may it may be we find something very key. Yeah. A few works on religions. I should hope so. scientific essays about human thought. Most of these works <laughs> are on alchemy. Longini Militis Fabulum. Ah, what have we here? It looks like a kind of biography on Longinus the Centurion. Yes, tell Truly, me more. Volner has done everything he can to get information about that lance. Tell me more. I'd better keep this one, though. <gasps> have we kept the book? Oh, fuck! Did he say? Damn, that's all I need. Oh, Maybe you know something about the lance. What happened? You, you've lost. Ah, oh, how horrible! Your hand. I. It's an accident. To tell you the an truth, accident? I. Accident? Are you joking? You have lost your hand, Louis. We've got to do something. It's been done. <coughs> I've been given treatment. Rest assured. I admit that I didn't truly realize the consequences of my recklessness. So just stay calm. Yes, yes, of course. But Louis. It's your hand! I know. Please, look, there's nothing I can do about it. I know. I made a mistake, but it's too late now. It was an accident. I only wanted to inspect the place to find my mother, and, well, I fell into a trap. The result is appalling, I, I grant you that, but at least I can guarantee that we're all perfectly safe here on this island. And Mate. You joke about it? Am I dreaming? No, sir, but let's be realistic. So many world leaders brought together in one place, and there are no safeguards? The error indeed stems from my recklessness. I went looking here and there and searched my mother, and I had an accident. It's my own fault. Fine. We will drop this uh, incident. Okay. Why are you here? What are you doing in my room? Oh, fuck. Okay, so two things. We have to downplay what happened to our hand because he is a demon. This is an evil dude. This is the current potential owner of the Book of the Dead, Necronomicon, etc, etc. Um, so, we had to downplay the hand because otherwise he might have thought we got into the secret place we're not supposed to be in yet to find the sacred spit. That's why he's like, oh, it's fine. I fucked up. It's fine. Um, but now we have to do this. Which is, uh, effectively, if you ever watched Life is Strange Before the Storm, the, like, Chloe argument thing. It's a little similar to that. So we basically have to, like, blag it through all of this. Now I'm going to use the Immunities Vulnerabilities pot. Um, because I'm curious. Uh, the lances? Why well, was looking... No, the lances. Well, sir, I see you have some captivating books, and you seem to be rather interested in the famous Longinus. No, I... It's, uh... What's it to do with you? I overheard you speaking with Piaggi. What are you two up to, exactly? No, I... Oh, fine. Yes. We are looking for the Holy Lance.
That imbecile has given Mortimer all the ones kept in the private collection of the Holy See. But it, oh. it's not what you think. I... Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You're the one looking for the lance. No, Don't I'm... take me for a fool. You are looking for the Holy Lances. Uh... <laughs> so, okay, okay, he's twigged. I mean, it's not like it's rocket science, is it? Um... Um, shit. So, none of these are weaknesses, by the way. You can tell because this is still on. Um, what are you so afraid? Fuck it. What's the matter? You seem completely panicked at the idea I might be interested in this relic. I. No, no, that's not true. It's what are you true. so afraid of? I'm not afraid. You know, ah. Mortimer's got it. So you're not worried that I'd give it back to him? What is so you? Why are you so terrified of me being able to find it? You have no idea what it is you're looking for. What are you playing at, Richet? Mortimer's the one who has that cursed lance. How long have you been looking for it? Ah, I see. You want it, and so you plan to steal it from Mortimer. For a long time. Isn't that right? Why, you little swine! You're planning to give it to Sir Gregory. Uh, You're actually, looking to double-cross me and Piaggi too. What on earth is he talking about? No, I don't want to give it to home. So Gregory home is... Well, I thought he was like head demon. But Mortimer is also potentially head demon. Is this... Is he and Piaget... Have we actually judged this dude wrong? And actually he's kind of a good guy just because he's owned the Book of the Dead for ages. I don't know. I thought that he was like one of the central key evil demon guys because he was the cult specialist. But now I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to use another thingy. Annoyingly, it ran out just before this, but I want to check. No, we're all right. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Let's go with a single point. Mr. Von Volner, would you be so kind as to calm yourself down, please? All I'm trying to do is make amends for his eminence's errors. Sir Gregory should surround himself with better people, if you want my opinion. But Piaggi is a friend of my mother's. What? I, I think you I just... want to help Piaggi? I just told you, that's what my mother would do if she was here. I heard you in the corridor, and mm, he seemed to be in serious trouble because of the lances. I'm only trying to help him. Ah. Yes! All right, Louis. I thought you were trying to manipulate me. But please, uh, excuse me. I got a little bit uh, carried away. But you can't get ahead by staying in the shadows on a case like this. There are already several of us searching for the Lance of Longinus. And it would be smarter to pool our information. Uh. Unfortunately, uh, I've barely made any progress. I'm still trying to find out what the original Lance really looked like. Ah, let me reassure you, we've all been there, given the number of copies there are in existence. Seven. It also took us quite some time to discover its true shape. Which is? Many believe the central part of the head of the Lance to be covered in gold. Whereas, in truth, its center is made of an alloy of copper and iron. We done it! It does make sense. In those times, a centurion wouldn't have any chance of possessing a lance made of gold. Ah, that is the perversion of Christian idolatry. A copper lance could not have been noble enough to pierce the side of Christ. Anyway, yes. thank you, sir. You're welcome, Louis. Uh, keep me posted as to your research. We're bound to end up recovering it. I'm counting on it. I'm See not you later. giving you shit, bitch. Thanks. Thanks for the... Just, that was brilliant. <laughs> it's like... I managed to get the biography <laughs> of Longinus and Centurion. Oh, have we Let's stole the book? Yes! Hmm. An interesting passage here tells me that the lance is engraved with the symbol of the first Christians. The fish. Fish. That means we can get rid of... All but two. No. Sorry, all but three. There's one that's shaped like a spear, and there's one that's a leaf shape, and then there's one that's a very special leaf shape or something. So, I mean, that, that makes a lot of sense. It wouldn't be a crucifix, because it, that doesn't work. The, the gold comment also doesn't make sense, because, again, yeah, gold is, is not a... It's 
it's too malleable. So we just need to find out if it's a leaf shape or not. And then it's between two of them. 